You want to hear a Marvel what if? What if you came into the store and bought these figures? Today we have some characters from your favorite Marvel shows and some big baddies from your favorite Marvel movies. First up, we have the new Captain America. Falcon has now taken the mantle of Captain, and with that, he's got a brand new Star Spangled suit. But the suit doesn't make you Captain. You gotta have a shield too. If you haven't noticed already, Uncle Sam is missing his wings and his drone companion. But don't worry, you can give this Falcon flight by collecting his wings with these next figures. Moving on, we have the dethroned Captain now known as U.S. Agent. John Walker's suit isn't accurate to his series end suit, but does stick to his series appearance. Though it's darker in tone to the original Captain, the suit still makes a statement. As you can see, he doesn't come with a shield because it doesn't belong to him. You're no Captain, Captain America. America. You're a fake and a fraud. <sighs> Sorry about that. With his lack of a shield, he makes up for it with a piece to Cap's wings and two alternate closed fists. Next up, we have the long-awaited return of the man that split the Avengers, Baron Zemo. Zemo finally gets his mask in this figure along with an alternate head. But like every villain, Zemo's got to come prepared for a fight. He's equipped with a gun and a Winter Soldier codebook, and just like the rest, Zemo comes with a wing piece. Longing, rusted, benign, daybreak, furnace, nine, benign, homecoming, one, freight car? Hmm. I thought that would work. Oh well, here we have the reformed sleeper cell Bucky the Winter Soldier. And as to be expected, Bucky comes in his screen accurate attire and he's showing off that big robot arm of his. Bucky comes with alternate hands and pieces of Cap's wings as well. Moving from a robot armed assassin to a carbon based synthesoid, we have Vision, well, a rebuilt Vision. If you're wondering what happened to Vision's red and green looks and Soul Stone, think of this Vision as a Vision 2.0. Though physically still Vision, he's had a color rehaul taking the color scheme of all white and a blue chip where the Soul Stone rested. Next up, we have the Scarlet Witch from WandaVision. Wanda has finally unlocked her true potential becoming the Scarlet Witch. She's draped in red from head to toe in her series finale suit. If you're looking for more red, Wanda comes with red magic accents and a set of alternate magic hands. And you guessed it, she's got Captain America wing piece as well. And last in our line, we have TVA Loki. For once, we have a Loki without an Asgardian wardrobe. Loki's sporting some regular Joe clothes, khakis and a button down and a tie for style. Oh, and most importantly, his TVA field jacket. This variant comes with the last of Cap's add-ons, those being Red Wing and the Wing Stand. Speaking of Asgardians, let's talk about the man who destroyed their homeworld. Here we have Surtur from his Thor Ragnarok appearance. This fire giant stands at 13 inches, living up to his giant status. The detail on this guy is fire. Okay, okay, I'll stop with the puns, but he is amazingly sculpted. Surtur comes with two extra sets of hands and most importantly, his flaming sword to bring doom to Asgard. Next, we have the villain that started Tony on his path, but let's not give him too much credit. He did try to kill Tony. Here we have Obadiah Stane in his Ironmonger armor. Stane looks just as he does on screen, but the Hulk and Ironmonger takes the cake. You can really see the power and weight of this tank with legs. Obadiah comes with a suitcase and the arc reactor ripped right out of Tony's chest. As for Ironmonger's accessories, you get a set of alternate hands, blast effects, smoke effects, and some bullet shells. And for all you DC fans, don't worry, Mama didn't forget about you. We have two powerful DC characters from McFarlane Toys. Let's start with everyone's favorite speedster, The Flash. Flash has lost all his flashy colors and has taken on this grayscale suit. His suit may have changed, but the speed force is still the same. Flash comes with a few lightning accents to show off his true speed. Next, we have an ancient god that lives in a helmet. Here we have Dr. Fate styled from the appearance in the Injustice 2 game. The gold on this figure really pops, helping sell the metallic nature of his armor. In addition, both of the characters come with their respective cards. And those are just some of the figures we have here. If you want to get your hands on one, come on down to the store. Check us out online at BigBangToysLV.com. And we'll see you next time.